Yeah, up top, up top, up top. And Jake might be in as well. Hello and welcome back to the Amputee Angler. Back out on the boat. Um, got the band back together today. We've got Dino and Jake on board. Uh, one of the rare times we've done that this year, all three of us. Got our own little nice little fishing party. It's nice to get us back together. Um, reckon today we're gonna try for some eels and a bit of a uh, luring as well. On the way out, we were just gonna have a stop for, try for some squid. Squid are starting to show around here in the Sussex area. And on the way for a reef mark, massive shoulder bass came through. So um, we're just gonna go back over it now, see if we can't pick off a few bass on the slow jigs and the lures. And then we're gonna bomb out to the wreck. And it's the usual setups. As I'm doing it, I'll show you. If we catch anything, I'll show you. And if I don't, I'll tell you. So I'll see you all in a bit. There you go. Bass caught on the, uh, the sidewinder there. That one. Bass for Jake. Just as I've done my intro, turn around. Jake's got a fish on, small schoolie. There you go, you guys. Bass Jake. Little schoolie. Straight back. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. on. Yes. Fish on. There we go. One. Fish on. Straight over that pinky bit. Oh yeah, look at that rod. There we go. Look at that. That's <laughs> that is lovely. On this, I'm on a haste to oh slow jig, and the bass shoal is coming in, and it is a big bass shoal, guys. There we go. What have we got here? It's going to be a bass. I know that much. But there's a lot of fish on the sounder. This one's coming right out of the back of the boat. Look at that. <laughs> what have we got here? That's an awesome rod, isn't it? Oh, I love it. This is, a, this is the custom made jigging rod. There's a big shoal of bass. And that's a sizable one. Though. That's a keeper bass, that one, guys. That's a keepable bass. He's well in the mouth. Nice, oh, popped off. Oh, ah, nice. That'll teach me for your, not using the net. Well, that was a nice, probably 45 centimetre bass, that one. So I'll go straight back down, it's right over the shoal now, so I'll see if I can get another few. Ideally, we'll get our couple of bass, and then we can go out. Oh, that was a nice, nice I saw that, that was a nice size one. Nice, nice 45 that would have been. Okay, so this is actually now the wreck we're going to be fishing, um, for eels that is. A lot of people will put baited feathers down to check the life of a wreck and the rest of it. Um, I'm a little bit different in that I will always lure fish a wreck before I anchor it. Uh, the reason being for me is there's always life on a wreck. Nine times out of 10, there's pout on it or something and it's got eels on it. So I don't, I don't bother doing baited feathers. I try and pick up a few bonus fish. So that's just my way of doing it. And by drifting it a few times with the lures, we then get to work out our drift line, uh, our drift speed. And that then obviously tells us information for when we're gonna put the anchor in. So hopefully it's a double edged or a double win you know which way you drift in for the anchor and you pick up a few bonus fish as well. You could bait feathers if you were looking to catch bait for pout or whatever, um, or you wanted to find out the life of the wreck. But us down here, I've never, I've never had a wreck that's not had pout on it unless it's been a really small broken up one. And I said, that is just my personal opinion. There you go. Big wreck, this one sits north to south which means basically as we hit it, you don't hit the one bow or stern, you hit the big side of it, and it's just coming in now, chaps. Quite fun on light gear. It's not the lightest of gear, but yeah. 100%. Will it be a double shot or will it be a half decent one? Let's have a look. Set it. Oh yeah, there you go. Not a big one, but three more the same. First target. Okay, so we are at anchor now. I didn't film it because there's three of us on here and we're just trying to get the anchor in. Um, we're not on the wreck, we're just, just off of it. Um, we're going to try and draw the eels out. If that doesn't work, then I'll drop the boat back a little bit. Uh, Jake said a bream. Um, obviously, we're bre this time of year, conger eel and bream fishing is like peas and carrots. And uh, yeah, we're bream fishing alongside it and Dino's knocking up some food. And Jake said the first small bream in a day. So hopefully we can put a few nice ones out. Get that scent in the water, get a few eels out, and then we're rocking and rolling. Yep, there's one, that's one. There you go. Yeah, we got a bream on, guys. This is a bream. Just head shakes all the way up to the boat. Diving well. We're having to fish the 1220 gear. If people are thinking, oh, why are you not going light? 
But when you're at anchor, that tide just rips through. You can't get away with fishing two ounce gear. Well, we need the bigger gear for a minute. The leader, still going. Lovely rally break. It's okay, I'm not, not yep. tiny, but it's okay. Yeah, this is better. There we go. Green. That ain't a bad one, that one. There we go. I'd say that's still quite small for what we want, but that ain't too shabby. Size four cocks and more crab hook. Strike it, boom. These are bigger ones, being alright. Yeah, got bigger one, mate. Yeah, it's got a good, better one, aren't it? Much better, mate. Right, thank you. It's not a bad fish at all, that's uh, yeah, let's put in some bright lunges. Will it be a double shot? That's the question. Yeah, yes. Ooh, oh, double shot, I think. Oh, nice, no, nice one. Nice bream. Very nice bream. Let's bring around here. That's another. Not too bad at all. Yeah, beautiful colours on them. Little gnashes, little teeth there. Great stuff. There we go, first conger eel, big old teeth. Yeah, about 12, about 12 pounds from that, we'll get that back. Right, so tide has really dropped off now, so I'm getting away with the jigging gear again for the bream. Just had a small one off camera there. A little two ounce lead now, so we're going straight up and down, so. There you go, so that's on the bottom. So I'm doing just winding tight, so I'm in touch with it. And as soon as I hear that rattly bite, as soon as I see that rattly bite, you don't hear it. Um, the striking, that's it. See the way it's coming out the boat as well. Oh, that's not a bad one. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. That's, that's a nice one, biggest one of the day. Yeah, I thought it might be. Oh, should really net it, but oh well. Ready? Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a better one. one. That's a better one. That's... <laughs> there we go, that's the biggest one of the day. Quite chunky, got quite a big belly on them. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely colour on them. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Great fighting action on light gear as well. Do, do enjoy them. Got three more, guys. <laughs> Triple hook up on the bream. I've got quite a nice one here. I've got a very nice bream. Did everyone go in the same There we go. Everyone's in. I'm a bremer! There we go. Lovely bream. It's swallowed that right down as well. I'll have to get a uh, forceps on that, but that's another lovely chunky bream, that one. And I might even have a nudge on that conger as well. Just had mine, and Jake's got one, Dino's got one. Flush them, boys, flush them. Have a nice one, nice one. Hey, bremen. Bremen and eels. No! Oh, no! Delete, delete! <laughs> oh, it's even wrapped up. No. That's not what we want. That's, That's when you know it's time to give up the eel gear for a bit. Oh no. Look at that, couldn't wrap it up itself up anymore. There we go. I don't know, it's not a bream, but it's running like a pollock. I think we've got a small pollock on here, I reckon. We're, put, we're just drifting the wreck now with baits. I think I've got something that's, I don't think it's a pout. It's a bass or a small pollock. That's gonna go, that's gonna go, that's gonna go. Down, down, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. Yes, please. Thank you very much. It ain't even a small pollock, it's a good pollock. That is a good pollock. Look at that. Yes, baby. Thank you very much. It ain't even a small pollock, it's a good pollock. The other day on size four cocks and wool crab hooks, we had a two pound bream and a four and a half, five pound bass. Good, and today we've got pounds. probably a four and a half, five pound pollock as well, I reckon. That is a nice fish. It's bigger than that, mate. Get in. Get in, look at that. Just hooked in there. That is just hooked in the lip. We're just bouncing baits over for bream. Haha. <laughs> That's a bit better. And that there is a lovely fish. 
I knew that was. <laughs> and look, that's a big power pair. No, that's not a power pair. Though. Look at that. That is lovely. Boom. Right. Got a fight now. There you go. Have a, have a little bit. No, you got something else here. Yeah. I don't know. That is a good bream. There you go, mate. Well done. That's a good one. Well done, Dino. Dino's got a nice one. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah it's good. That's so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got a nice fish there. See it? Yeah, you got a nice bream, Jake. Could be a net job. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, nice bream. Ah, he's in there, he's got it. Well, Jake, here, yeah, well done, buddy. There we go. It's not bad, is it? That's a proper, proper size one. Oh, lovely. There you go. Another decent sized bream. It's probably possibly my biggest of the day. I put up a nice little fight. Green. Just uh, the tire's not quite running enough yet to get the anchor back in, so we're just catching what's there, and that's the bream. And Dean, Dean and uh, Jake and, and myself all had some lovely bream. And obviously that nice pollock that you saw earlier. Talk about making most of what you got, and what we got at the minute is bream. This one won't be a monster, but we've got one of each. I'll pat on the top. A little baby bream on the bottom. But like I said, all about making the most of what you got. We got a nice cloud of pout and bream down there. Well, that's probably one of the smaller ones of the day, that one, but it's well looked. What's going on here? Oh, oh guys, got a, bit of, got a bit of wind, sorry. Um, wind's really picked up, and we're trying to anchor the wreck the other side of the tide now. That one. Wind over tide. Um, and it's, it's, it's hard work. We have got the anchor in, we have got onto the wreck, but it's not ideal conditions now. So the, the wind and tide are fighting each other. It's a small tide, so the wind is actually winning the battle. So we're actually swinging about a little bit, but uh, we're on the wreck, so we're okay, we're getting there. Jake's just had a nice bite, um, and hopefully we can snatch a couple, and then we're gonna bomb in. But had some lovely fish so far, but the conditions are now just getting a little bit difficult for what we're trying to do. But we're persevere, we don't give up easy, so, we we'll crack on and see what we can do. Fish on, guys. We don't give up here. Conditions aren't great, but we're making it work. Congreal, guys. Yeah, we'll stick this out for a bit. <laughs> yeah, Dean's getting a bite as well, I think, isn't he? Yeah. You got a bite as well? Yeah. Baby eel, they always come out first. But that's what we come for. Tights. Push yeah. on for Jakey! Yeah, I don't think he's very big, but oh no, he might be alright. Oh, stay on, stay on. You're okay. Not as big as the last one, but so I'll train my baits for you. It's a fish on. anyway. Dino, you know you in? Alright, let's have a look what this one is. Hopefully, a half decent one. Won't be quite as big as the other one, but it'll be alright, I think. Feel quite as heavy. A baby one. Hook well though, so we can uh, see bar what that one off. That both side. This is the other one. Oh, Jesus, that's a good bite. Yeah, that's, yeah. Are we in as well? Yeah, yeah me too. Up. Yeah, up top. Up top. Up top. And Jake might be in as well. Oh, oh yeah. Get <laughs> bite still. Come on. Slightly better one, guys. You are doing that, Jake? Yeah, I'm doing it, mate. Yeah. Oh, I'm placing it over there. Still a small watch, watch out for that wave. Yeah. Come in, T bar him off. Another eel, guys. Jason's going to T bar it off. Bit... <laughs> That's the matter, <laughs> wasn't it? Bit rolly, so Jason's going to T bar it off here. I've got hold of the lead thing, I've got a bite. 
Yeah, yeah, we're still on. Oh, you've got yeah. Right, be careful. Well. Just double look up here. That's my triple, really. Oh, it's the same. Oh, same fish. My leader. Coming in on my leader. Yeah, I think we're wrapped up. I think you're okay. Oh, that's not a bad one. That's, that's a better one. That's my one. Jake's got a nice seal, guys. Yeah, hold well on, buddy. Right, take your lid off. Yeah, it's, got my, it's, got, it's on my hook. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think you flipped both baits. What a crazy. I didn't see that hook I've a minute got, ago. I've got a, a circle. I've got a circle hook. Nice seal for Jakey. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and Dino, technically, but well done, guys. <laughs> two, Dino's two hooks in its mouth. Well, that's the end of another Amity Angler session. I might have close, I'm in the wheelhouse. Wind's picked up a little bit. Guys are washing down the deck, so uh, we caught what we said we were going to catch. Bream, conga, and a bonus pollock. Lost some bass, loads of pout. But it's been a really, really good day. So thanks to Jake and Dean for making it happy. Uh, it's been a really, really good fun day today. Nice to get together, have a laugh, and catch some fish. So if you like the videos, please do like and subscribe. I'll take a couple more in here. And I'll see you all again soon.